Thank you very much for coming for the I Kiss a Boy and I Like It, the virtual exhibition. We're supposed to have show this the work on 2nd of April, uh, but things changed with the COVID and then we now you, you postpone the exhibition and then we decide to make um, a, it live. Um, it's my first time doing the, the live show. I hope you'll be, you'll be fine. And uh, it is our opening. It is a... a a vernissage. I hope everybody have a drink with you for the night. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you the the Gay Project for the support they give to me. They 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 they, they be extremely helpful and uh, extremely supportive for, for the whole project. All, all the people from the Gay Project uh, uh, give a lot of incentive and were really 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 good to keep keep going the the the, the project in a very good way. Thanks so much for the for the gay project. Um, for some of you who don't know me well, I'd, I'd like to to talk a little bit about me. Um, I come from Brazil, uh, from Porto Alegre, in the south of Brazil. I live in Europe for twenty years, and in the last three years, I live in Cork, in Ireland. Um, I am a multimedia uh, uh, art artist. I work in analog and digital. You know, work in uh, photography and um, collage and GIF animation. Uh, you can see some of my work, uh, photography, in civilseverin.com. Uh, I see I have some seascapes, landscapes, uh, 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 long exposure photography, monochrome photography as well, uh, I love very much. And principally my big passion is a uh, uh, live concert and, and festival, uh, something I'm, I'm I have a, a great opportunity to to to, to photograph in, in in Hungary and so. On. Uh, also, I do some very short gifs in cinema, very short uh, few, uh, videos. I'd like to show you this one here. Is um, that's you can see more about my work in the Loop Conspiracy in the, um, uh, uh, Instagram. And you can see more. I try to post frequently about everything there. Um, and and that's a, it's a work I did for the Indie Quark for the festival last year. Um, well, um, I kiss a boy and I like it. It's um, a project I was uh, intent to, to expose in the in the in the gay project in Quark. Uh, when you when you decide to make together, um, for me, come I, I start to think about the um, the thematic, which thematic could I use for to to explore, and masculinity for me come straight away. It seems to me the right subject. Um, uh, I research a lot about it. You, I, I post just now um, uh, uh, a page when I have all the works I'm showing for you guys here. And as well, all, all the, 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 the research I did, the videos, books, and blogs. It's quite a lot of um, talking about now uh, masculinity, masculine identity, men health issues, uh, and, and sort of things. It's quite a hot topic at the moment. And um, But one of the, the, the starting point for me was um, a video and a single from the one band I like very much, the Idols, they are from Bristol. And uh, they have a single called Samaritans. Please, if you, it's, it is in the, in, the, in the page, you can, you can see. It's worth to see because it's really interesting. Uh, they have this kind of uh, uh, energy and uh, the way they put quite an aggressive music to talk about very positive things. And the video, it start with some kind of a vintage, um, uh, uh, footage with kind of a young man in the in, um, um, in kind of a more uh, in diverse ways, uh, fragile way, and so in the war and all that. And then the, the video goes to men marrying a contemporary time with uh, the war and uh, toxic behavior. And then there was the, the inspiration point for me. Um, I start to to think about everything I could do about the, the and then I start with the um, the poster uh, the poster 
is a work I did before. Um, I have this idea, uh, uh, paradise, the, 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 to make a kind of a queer paradise. And then I, I pick up one, uh, two representations of Adam and Eve, the, the paradise. This one you see is the fall of man, is a Dutch master. And then I pick up another one. And then the, this idea of a queer paradise. And then I cut it and use it for the poster. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, and uh, seems like a lot of people coming, and uh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, then I start to, the whole process, how to, to, how to think, how to protect. Uh, I want to do uh, um, uh, a work special for the, 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 the this project. I, I use some work, old works, but I want to do this new work for the exhibition. And um, I, I start to collect in mail, health magazines, and soft porno, and the game. And, uh, um, and then I noticed this was the first work I did for the project. And uh, something I noticed is um, a lot of uh, these uh, uh, fashion magazines, the male health magazine, uh, have a lot of watches in cars. And it seems like to me this it symbolizes the the man power and the, the sophistication and, and all that. And then I, uh, 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 my idea was to, 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 seems like for me is someone who wear such an expensive watch is someone who succeeds, who someone who have a, a lot of money and is on the top. And it's pretty much a kind of a hunting the manliness about to be on the top, to be the, 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 the best, to be someone uh, who achieved is, is, is the one on the top. And I was intrigued about what could be behind this person, behind this mask, a kind of mask of, uh, mask of masculinity. What could be someone who, who, who would be behind it? And then I created this, this work. It is pretty much connected with the, the type of work I do, with some very few elements, like in the case three elements here, and a lot of a negative space I, was, I like to use a lot. Um, also, then I start the process and I start to, to use the male male body uh, as an object as a gay man as a queer artist the the I'm very interested intrigued about the, the the male body in a sensual way and then I I cut it I, I and I de deconstruct and reassemble this 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 uh, this this male forms and then I place it in this, the, 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 in this uh, vintage uh, uh, book arrangement, and it's the whole series of work based in, in, in this um, in this idea of the deconstruction. This this kind of uh, uh, um, completely different elements together. And then I have another uh, the whole whole series about this work. How you guys are doing? <laughs> There's another one, I, and then the, kind of the whole series, and I, I explore the, um, the, the, kind of the sensuality, the, the, the body, what represents the man body, the homoerotism. This, and uh, of course, I am very much um, uh, connected with the surrealism, and then the Dadaism, and then I, I explore my work, go, go in this way. And then this cutout in a kind of a different form was interesting. Um, there's another one that's pretty much could say about the I use as a poster because that's a kiss boy <laughs> and uh, oh yeah probably I forgot for, uh, to say that the name of the exhibition a kiss boy and I like it come from the lyric from the idols is they they say that in the lyrics and then of, of course is uh, connect with um, another pop song I think Skate Perry I kiss a girl and I like it and my work is pretty much go for uh, pop culture in reference, so, something I pick up around me, principally music, is something I, I, I put together in my work very often. This is a very interesting one, it's a transgender man, and um, I want to, I think it's an interesting work. Uh, this one is a, it's a digital one. Uh, uh, all the work you see before was uh, analog in paper, and this one I was, um, 
I normally do a little bit more, I couldn't say, not say minimalist, I'm influenced by minimalism and in, in the Dogma Night Fight in cinema. Uh, but my work is not properly uh, minimalist. But I like very much the idea of few elements in my work. Well, but sometimes I just do exactly the opposite. And then in this case, I was kind of uh, try to find a, a way to to put a lot of elements together. And then I created this figure who is a kind of a hybrid and man. There is a kind of a um, superhero quality on it. And then play the, the, the notions of uh, uh, the, the Mars and Venus and, and the, the, the moon and the sun. And... Um, and then this, like I said, is a is a is a digital work. I work and I, I uh, the possibilities to work with digital are very much different than to work with analog. And then when the the, 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 the the there is a lot of limitations in the analog world. What is probably attracting me very much on, on most of my work are analog, are paper. I like the tactile quality of the paper. Uh, I like the the. the put different textures in the paper together, like you see before. And, uh, but this one was something come, come and then I, I researched and uh, actually the, 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 uh, the whole, the whole uh, um, reference here, all, all the works here is from the Rich Museum. Uh, they allowed people to download uh, uh, high resolution. They actually push people to do it. And then all the flowers and, and, uh, and the butterflies are from the Rich Museum. Um, and then I continue with the series about exploring the body of man, the, the, the roughness and the, the, the softness in, the, in this kind of uncanny way and uh, how collage can work well with, with all that. And then I go from many, many ways different. And it's, it is an um, ongoing project. I, I, I want to continue to do it. And like I said, I make the research. So you guys can see in the page I, I, I place in, in the Facebook. Um, but if you guys have any any blog, any video, any 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 article you, you guys think is connected with masculinity could be interest, please let me know. I I really appreciate it because I'm still researching. I'm still looking how I can I can continue. So I think it's a very interesting and uh, subject. And there is so much potential on it, and I really want to explore more about that. There is another one. And you see, um, and then I, I explore as well this, I, I try to make some very strange cuttings in the body. And then sometimes come the, the, these cuttings, I didn't plan it. I, the way I cut come in a kind of a completely uh, organic way. Um, I, I, I always like when the viewer give their one interpretation about my work. I think is uh, uh, I like the relationship with my idea the work in the viewer, how the and then create for me a kind of a organic way for my work. Like it's, it's true that is something to explore in the work. And a lot of people who tell me sometimes things about my own work, uh, there is kind of a stories people tell me. They are sometimes even more interesting than one I have in mind. And I, I love to hear how 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 people react for the work. I do. Hey, Colleen. Hello. <laughs> oh, just put another one. Yeah, thank a lot of people coming. Thanks so, so much, Colleen and oh, William. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming, guys. David. Um, there is some other work here. Oh, some. That's the, the one I have created for, for these few weeks before. before. Some work I have already done for the for the exhibition, for for the opening of the second of April, and then because of the measures and everything, I start to create more work, and then that was what the new work I have created for the for the exhibition. Uh, 
Uh, this one is um, is really one the one I want to 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 play. If this this notion of uh, uh, the um, the roughness of the the, the, the body build, the, the, the roughness of kind of a mas very masculine body with this kind of a more soft and associated femininity of the flowers. That's that's the this extreme I was pretty much exploring. This one come quite early in the, all these strange cuts as well in the, in the work. Sorry guys, I, I try to follow everything, what everybody is, 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 is um, here telling you. <laughs> Quite difficult. <laughs> um, oh, this one is a work I I did quite a time ago. It is a work how it is pretty much connected with my one experience and memories. Uh, I was, like I said before, born in Brazil. And from my generation, it was a very conservative and kind of a macho culture. And um, quite traumatic for most of us. Um, they have the military dictatorship and everything. Um, but then coming in my mind all these memories and things and the number 24 uh, is associated we have in Brazil a kind of a lottery in this lottery um, every number have associative animal and 24 is the deer what is viado in Portuguese and the deer for some reason is associated with uh, homosexuality in Brazil viado is um, is a deer literally you say in English but it's a kind of a kind of F word uh, in, in Brazilian Portuguese. And and then come in these memories and I want to play of the companies, I want to play the 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 the, the, the male sensuality the the, the the fetish and I want to explore the whole the whole thematic and the whole memories and everything in a kind of a pop pop art way. Um and then come it's still worth following the the, the 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 series I was I was doing. Uh, here as well is a deer and then the, the go for this fetish uh, uh, for the body and the, and the Bambi, the young deer and then the, I call it the, the, the deer god in the end of innocence um, where I think for me it represents the fact is uh, in Brazil uh, uh, we are the game as a gay man we are probably forcing somehow to be more mature earlier than than everybody because all the things happen to us, all the discrimination, all the bullying, everything. It's a kind of a kind of a innocence loss. It's kind of a, a young mature maturement in, in life. Is that what I try to represent in the work? Um, this one follows well. This is kind of a the hunting and uh, kind of a hipster kind of a guy, and then I play just the element of. Uh, Sexual predator and and uh, and uh, violence and uh, and, uh, and so. And this is a um, I work I have done before, and uh, you've it's pretty much that. And uh, thank thank you guys if you have any question or anything. Oh, Mark Holland say loving. Thank you. It's very good. Thank you. One is there. Hello, Anna. <laughs> calling. Hello, calling. Thank you very much. Hey, David. Una. Hey, Liv Campbell. Laura. Hello, Laura. Hey, Emma. Hey, dear Emma. Thanks so much, Emma. <laughs> A lot of people coming. Thanks so much, guys. And, um, well, that was my my first live. And um, I hope not to <laughs> it went well. And... Um, I just say thank you very much for the gay project again. Thank you for all all the friends coming, all the friends who give me support, and uh, the work you beat. Uh, we are really still planning to make it uh, um, uh, uh, in the physical way because I think that's that's for me was this kind of a work must be seen in the physical way. Internet is great, virtual is great. What you have now, but I think this type of work must you must be in front of you. That's that's a completely different experience. And then we we uh, really me and the project we are planning to do that. We don't know when, but but like I said, we did, I didn't cancel the exhibition. I postponed it, 
and uh, we, we see how the things are going. And um, there's more people coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys, for coming. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate what everybody have a time to come and see the exhibition. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.